Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This video tutorial I am making to demonstrate one of the method to copy Primera program into Microsoft Excel using the simple command of copy and paste. So most important is that why we need to copy our Primera program into Microsoft Excel is the simple answer is that most of our people and site engineers they are not fully familiar with the Primera software or sometimes the software is not installed on their working PCs. On the other hand, Microsoft Excel is a very handy tool and most of the people they are very proficient with the Microsoft Excel and they know good commands. So in this case, if we copy the program from, copy the program from Primera to Excel, it is easy for them to, to check their specific requirements without going up again and again to the planning engineer. Or on the other hand, it is good for the planning engineer that he will not be caught, not unnecessarily interrupted by other people. So now let's start. And before starting our uh, today's uh, exercise, I'm assuming that we already have created the program with our required activities and they are linked together. And we already assigned activity uh, cost or expense in the program. Resources are computed and assigned. And most important is, is important is that activity codes are generated and assigned to the program. So now let's start. I am going to open the program. This is my one of the program which is created uh, for a high-rise building project and the cost is assigned with the budgeted cost as you can see that budgeted expense cost is there, labor units are there, resources are shown in the resource uh, columns and codes are uh, generated and assigned to each activity. So you can see here, here is the activity codes you can see here. So activity codes, I am planning to make a separate video for activity codes uh, to, uh, to show you how to uh, define and assign to the project. And in this case, in this case, uh, for, the, for this video, it is, uh, I'm assuming that we already has made the codes and assigned to activities. So before copying the program into Microsoft uh, Excel, we are going to uh, organize and sort and remove this uh, sorting issue from sorting group by sort from here, delete this one and just make it open and then press ctrl a to copy all and ctrl c to cop control to select copy and going over excel and copy the program there the program is open now and just just you can select and click anywhere to open the activity to columns as per the data inside it so this is there okay and just uh, make some organize here just adjust the column width as per your requirement and then just I press control 1 format cell and then alignment make this wrap text now you can see here that we have expenses process shown here labor units are shown here resources already assigned technical engineer from the helper something like this and this is our activity course which is 005 for the project 10 is the responsibility 15 is the discipline similarly full floor trade and items now this VRR5 is the code so we need the well to get the value of this code so to get the value of this code from the primera we need to copy the activity codes from primera to excel so we go in the primera and then go to enterprise activity codes and we are going to copy one by one all codes so 005 is the project just we select here control a to select all control c to copy and then come here and put in the excel Similarly, we go again to next item, which is 0010 is a responsibility. Just press anywhere, Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and then just press one column distance for identification purpose and press Control B. Similarly, we go to third option, which is discipline. Press anywhere, Control A to select all, and Control C to copy, and then place one column for the identification purpose and just press B. Similarly, we copy all our activity codes from Primera to Excel. Okay, one by one, I, this my last word is the number 30 items. I select anywhere, Control A to select all, Control C to copy and just come in Excel. Just bring, just leave one column for the identification purpose and then Control V to copy this. So now see all our codes we copy from Primera to Excel, just open the open it to show the values. Okay, so this all the codes we copy, just make it. Okay, now we need to bring this code into our main sheet. So this is our main sheet, we can call this sheet as a data sheet also. The major the, is our 
source sheet now we have here project name so project name we just type here project name responsibility and items once it is done now we are using the match and filter command to bring the data from our sheet number two to data sheet so just we make match command this our project name select this one comma go to sheet which is actually codes select this column press f4 to lock this column and then press 0 for the exact match and control enter after this we are going to index command index command and then we are going to select our data our seller so data exists in these two columns so this let's select this column and then press f4 to lock these two columns and then press comma the first is our uh, uh, our is a row number and the send we have comma and the second column so this is our a and b so this is our column number two so we just press two because our data is exists in column a and b so our data will take from column number b which is b of the second of the selected column be careful from the selected column then press control enter it will give you the project name okay similarly we go here for the responsibility matrix we say match this is our responsibility just play select this one press comma go to here and this is our values so just select the full column you can select these values also or lock it or up to your convenience press f4 to lock it then press 0 for the exact match control enter then you go again in this command and then select your values this is our column number one and two and press f4 to lock and then our this our the first is the, the the number we get from the match is the row number so second is the column number so column is in e and f so our second selected column selected column press control enter it will give you this is testing and commissioning in the same way you can copy the formula match match and fill, match and index in the other for the discipline floor and items now we are in the now we are in the item code the same way we make here match command this is our item select this one go to sheet number two which is our go to sheet number two and select our item select the whole column press f4 to lock it and zero this item number 79 then we are going to index command index go again to sheet number two this is our column number one and column number two select it press f4 to lock then this is what the match will give you the row number and this is our column number so we have u and v so column number two so we just select column number two press uh, bracket close and control enter it will give you others okay so once we copy all this uh, our code here just press control c and just we see our we are in the column number s so press control left arrow and then control down arrow it will get take you to the end then control right arrow and you can see now your column number s press shift control up arrow it will bring to the top you can see here then press just up down and press control v so you can see now you copy all the our activity codes are come here you can see once we do this one, it's very easy now. Just we select here, go on the top, okay, and then just select this one, press shift, control, and then down arrow, press control C and control one, two, three to copy, then press control C again and press here and the project name. So control one, two, three. There's no need, but I think better to one, two, three. So and then we delete this our calculation we determine the data from the sheet number two now you can see here we have project now you can remove this 005 project name i just make it for the making activity course here so now it's no more required you can remove this uh, 005 is only for the uh, for the listing purpose okay now we delete all this one 
So once we selected this one, you can make this all to table, or if you don't want to table, just select anywhere in the in the data and then go insert and then select pivot table. When you select from the data table or from the from the table and range or external database, so we are using about this table or range. We already this range already is determined from the data which is we are selected or the boundary already checking by the pivot table by himself. So I just press table range. You can see here it will give you the data. You can see it will go you to add to the end. So no need to determine define the fields if it is a this is homogeneous and no break between. So this all be taken as the one data and then just you have to select that we need the data on the new worksheet. So just select it here and now it is shown the pivot table here. Now now what we'll do here that we are going to activity we are going to add here now you can see here that this pivot table uh, this arrangement is here and then this all our equity id and name duration are shown here what we want to show here so we just go here equity id just bring into row show, i'll show you all the all equity ids then equity name just bring it down now you can see equity id and name not on the same line so just press on the equity id right click and go to field setting in the field setting you can go in the layout and print and just select select item labels in the tabular form just select this one and then it will show you then you just select equity id go field setting and then select this show item label in the tabular form see equity id and id and name are shown in the same same row and then select this uh, total just remove this subtotal equity id no need for this one similarly you can go here and select the project name just put it project name see it project name come here just select the project name right click and then go expand collapse you can collapse entire field and then select and make required color or something same as primavera and then for example you want to go to data for the floor wise just select the floor and bring the floor under the project if you open this one you can see this basement to this all so just right click and then expand collapse entire field see all basement level are coming here so here what you will do basement one three normally basement three is the lowest one you can just click and drag it to the required level because uh, pivot table the problem is that pivot table is not making it uh, by himself uh, so you some arrangement you have to do manually so for example foundation work you have to be up so you will make it foundation up general you can bring it uh, also at the before foundation ground level is okay level one two three four you can nine ten this all going then we have seen this overall project this podium one and podium two will be up so just select the podium one podium two drag it to the top to the required direct level to the required location it will come after the ground podium one podium two to so just select one so you can see ground floor all this selected okay and then you select these columns and this all the data and color it as uh, same as uh, primavera or i just like uh, like blue color okay and text okay once you do this one you can open this you can see that the activities are shown here special manholes and then this is general soft landscape so it means that it will be at the end not in the start so just bring this one down drag to the loss okay then you can see basement 3 open the basement 3 you can see element 3 because this is all the basement 3 activities related to structure and civil all so just we go here and select the trade discipline you can see you want to see that what is the discipline here discipline here means uh, here this over this is a discipline with overall project and then finishing concrete Right click, field setting, layout, show table in the format, okay. Right click for field setting, layout, show, okay, good. <coughs> Discipline shown here, finishing and activities. 
the deck uh, this, this will from here to the up you can go here see discipline coming activity under activity so just drag this up to up to flow number here you can see now our we have first project name flow number then our uh, discipline 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 is the civil civil work finishing work something some all like this so just select anything and right click and go to expand and press collapse entire field you can see that all the fields are uh, collapsed now just select anyone just bring anyone see it will select all the sheet so one of the beauty is that see you select any any data and then go over it, it the uh, down arrow will show when the down arrow is shown just click it it will select all the values here see go anywhere and select all the values are selected then we put some color here also for our need and it now every color every field is colored same as primera so once you define this all the fields then we are going to show the dates for example you want to show the dates so i come here early dates i put in the column early dates early start just very easy just see just drag and drop just bring the values okay now this early dates and then we need to show early finish early finish and suppose we want to show the budgeted expense cost so we show these three values here okay now see this is the count so just right click this one and then go to value field settings and the value setting because this early date so select the minimum and then press on the number format go to data sheet uh, custom make your data like for example triple d for the day comma day day month and year okay and then from here when you come here the minimum of the early fee start just select remove this minimum and you can add a lead start date similarly when you go here see so you go for early finish early will be the maximum finish will be maximum so go again the uh, field setting okay and then select maximum format as we see before triple d for the day comma day triple m for the month and then the year and then select this maximum from here early finish dates and for the expense budgetary cost select this one right click field setting and then you can remove the sum and budgetary cost value okay now you can see here this values are shown here now what we can do here is just drop down this one now you can see that we already assigned the project name and then floor and then our this uh, dis our discipline so now you, you know problem is that here when we this this is data is already colored but this data is not colored here so what we can do here just we make another our reference uh, data for the purpose of uh, for our help the id and activity name and then just select this value from here row check the row and put the filter from here and then in this filter filter by colors for so example this okay so you select this all values here and then put the same color here then similarly again go here uh, filter by color green color see this all green color you can select it and put the green color and similarly again go here should be done and then what remaining yellow so yellow is already selected press yellow color and font red once you do remove this see now here now if you open this anything just press anywhere right click and expand entire field so i think it's collapse now right click again expand entire field okay then right click again here go expand entire field you can see here 
the program is copy here just okay this which is not copying so just go again this exercise you could do sometime again in time to time like for example not every column or uh, is have the same color so just go here and put the color so that will match and remove from here okay now we have actually uh, actually id actually this name early start early finish and budget expense course similarly you can add the resources here you want to add the resources here just select anywhere and select uh, show the uh, pivot table pane here and then for example i want to show the resources here what the resources are assigned so just go here in the our pane and select the resources and put in the values show you values okay it show your number okay so we don't want to show the number so we have to show in the values so just go to fill again and then resources we need to be here in the after id see your resources are here now you can see these activities you just select this one remove this total okay so now you can see that for this activity or excursion of cut of field we have others this others what you had there may be for um, some technical engineer something like this actually helper others may be the sub subcontractor is there that you don't want you're not fully a it's not finalized till now or still under negotiation something so you can put it here which uh, like here helper for example labeling and compression you need mason and a helper other other maybe technician for the operator for the uh, compactor something like this and for example waterproofing so waterproofing technician and helper uh, wall for the lift fit you need the carpenter steel pressure concrete mason and helper and similarly you can show the labor uh, activity a uh, labor units also here so we show you how many total resources are there so in this case you can see it's easy for them to our site engineer uh, they can do their work easily same like as primera and it's some uh, as you see there this look like also primera so you can make the coloring and this uh, font everything like primera and this is very easy in this case we see here you can go and you if you want to see for example concreting so you just go here in the, uh, from here you can go and select if, for the discipline you want to see discipline in the discipline it will show you want to see only the structure so just select the structure and press it and only the show you know structure values here no need to show everything and he can go everything check uh, what are the structure activities are there what are the resources are assigned and similarly you can go from up and in the filter you can select for example A discipline we select, select structure no we need only the facade work so select facade work it will show you only the facade work you can see aluminum helper aluminum technician and then the stone, stone cladding finishing mason helper and fixing bracket bra bracket supports aluminum technician helper so this all aluminum activities are there the amount of the contract amount is uh, 1 million 940 uh, 119 million 143,868 million is the contract value for this uh, facade work and the resources you can see and similarly you can assign uh, on the base of the activity course you can filter the activities uh, specific for your project and specifically you are looking for any like this so you can make simple uh, copy paste in x from here to another uh, excel sheet from the pivot table and send to our uh, element subcontractor to follow up and uh, to match or to provide the following requirement it's very easy so i hope this is uh, i try to be very good uh, and try to explain in detail so that you can make your own and if you need any of my help it will be more than a uh, pleasure for me to assist uh, my fellow people fellow engineers so till that time uh, I just thank you very much for your time and if you please uh, like it if you like it please like share and subscribe my channel to give me more uh, support and I will make more uh, good videos and more useful videos for you in the future till that time thank you very much see you in the next video bye bye <music>